This has been an, an incredible group to coach. Uh, just a resilient, tough, another really special Oregon State team full of high character individuals. Uh, we've had, had some adversity this year a little more than we ever have before. This was our, we had our first season ending injury this year and Cat Tudor um, to open up Pac-12 play opening night actually uh, in the first half. So when you lose a dynamic score like that of such a big part of what we do, somebody who brings a, a swagger and a confidence to the court, um, other people have to really step up. And that's what everybody who's watched us all year has, uh, has seen, uh, is the team just continue to rise. I've pushed this team as hard as I've pushed any team um, that I've coached because they've needed to grow up quick. Um, it hasn't been easy every day. They have to see themselves what they're capable of. Now we've had these enough experiences to where they're like, oh, I guess, yeah, I guess we are pretty good, you know. And it's like, yeah, no, you're not just good, you're elite. So let's keep grinding and expecting more from ourselves. Stepping on campus this summer, um, after the amazing run to the Elite Eight last year, um, it felt electric. Everyone was ready to kind of get back in the gym and get going, and then we started practice, and our mindset was focused, and everyone was really determined and had one goal in mind. And throughout the season, you know, once we started, there was nothing like it. Um, I told so many people, there's nothing like the feeling of Beaver Nation and Gill until you're actually on the floor. You can be outside of it, but once you're inside of it, once you're on the floor, once you score your first bucket, um, there's nothing like it, and there's nothing like the fans. I feel like this season, there was just so much chemistry. There was so much connection off and on the court. We had this intense, um, insanely connected culture. And a lot of it was hard to explain to others, like how do you guys have that? A lot of it just came down to the fact that we're just, we love each other and we really are a family. And that definitely was just a huge part of the season and how we overcame obstacles together and how we were able to take steps forward throughout the season continually. I feel like that a lot of that had to do with the root and the foundation of our program, which is built on family and that we truly enjoy being with each other. more focused. A lot of us are playing a little bit different positions, so I mean our focus has to really be there. So I think that definitely kind of makes us all focus up a lot on both ends. With that, just learning the small nuances in people's games and trying to see how you can put them in positions to be successful um, in each different way. I think right now we're just learning the small things about each other um, on the court. Of what people like to do, where they like their passes, like um, how, how do I put them in the best position to score or how do I talk to them differently than someone else. So just understanding that small differences and unique things about people is kind of where we are. For South Carolina, it's a two on four the other way. Cooper has her shot blocked as she goes up. Beavers, three seconds to go. Slocum, half court shot from the left side. Good if it goes, it goes. Wow. Uh, Vancouver was probably that those games or that game that you know you belong. And that was kind of ours, our Oregon State realization that we belong. We're a good team. And uh, yeah, we should have beat Notre Dame, but it just showed that we have fight. And yeah, we're young, but we have fight and we have the ability to go so far. I think definitely execution is what we focus on. Um, and when we execute, we do things right. And Oregon State holds on. And the Beavers defeat the Gamecocks, 70 to 68. Pac-12, here we go. It's a war every single night. There's no easy team here. And we're all battle tested to compete every night um, with your back to the wall. 
Slocum and the other two capable ball handling guards for the Beavers. They play at a faster pace. This is one of the great environments yeah. for women's basketball in the country. Heading into LA, that's right um, after we just lost Kat, and so heading into that trip, um, I think the team was very focused. We were excited and eager to do something that we hadn't done in a while, and that's sweep the LA schools, and I think we took care of business and did exactly what we were supposed to do. She's made every player around her better this season. Pivik is an even better player than she was last year. She was superstar last year. The sweep there made me feel so much better automatically and just being with the team just kind of lifted me up mentally and it was just great to see the team come together after a player goes down. State looks like the number 10 team in the country and everything's okay for them. You know, they're trying to trying to uh, absorb the loss of Cat Tudor, but they got some players again. Scott Rook's got another good bunch. We come from an absolutely awesome atmosphere. Guild Coliseum is the site tonight for rivalry round two. Is it's a real civil war. Oregon got the win in the first meeting. Can Oregon State get the win in front of their own sellout crowd? Slocum for three. Got it! You have this type of firepower coming off your bench. I, I think it just makes your, your whole team that much more confident. Right? It's blocked by Grebeck. Long pass down to Slocum. She's all by herself. They're playing very confident right now. I love this Oregon State team and, and how aggressive their guards are being. From Goodman to Pivot doing an excellent job. This place is incredible. The Coliseum has got that nice old feel of watching a basketball game. The fans out here are terrific. Here come the Beavers. Pivot, Forestdale. One on three break for Michaela. She goes up, puts it off backhand and off the glass. It's good. Right now, right hand corner. Slocum has the ball. Inside Jones, he puts it up again. Joe Grimmett with a big basket. They can celebrate in Gill again. For the ninth straight time, the Beavers beat the Ducks at Gill. And the longest win streak in the country ends at 17. They were the better team tonight for 40 minutes. They did a great job defensively. This is going to be a team that's a tough out in March. Obviously playing in front of our family. This is like all extended family to us. So that was definitely a huge motivation factor for us. How our team was able to execute under pressure. We had a lot of games where it came down to the wire, came down to the fourth quarter making plays, and our team was able to stay calm and execute when we needed it most. What a ball game here at Gill in front of nearly 5,100. USC giving Oregon State all it can handle. Five seconds on the shot clock. Goodman, and now Slocum has got to put something up. Oh! Pressure in her face. Destiny Slocum from about 30 feet just drilling it. And that is a killer. Four seconds ago, she drives it off the glass and good. Alea Goodman with great hustle. Smith drives through, puts it up to Joe. Grimmick blocks the shot. Good underneath the course deal, a wide open one. Minute to go, beats by two. Huge possession. Drive baseline, right hand side. Back out to Goodman, a three pointer for Alea. Perfect! Alea Goodman with a huge three pointer. I'm so I'm so glad that, that I can be part of this program. It was so amazing. I know that it's super hard to pronounce <laughs> some words in Polish, so I was like super impressed by his like ability to to really sing it. So blessed that I got the opportunity to come here to Oregon State and to be a part of this program and to be coached by Scott and um, just to help um, continue the culture that has been built here. Um, I've learned a lot from past the past um, teammates that I've had and still learning today and. Just so glad of the, or proud of the teammates that I have today, and I'm just very blessed and thankful for what I've been able to experience and for what we have to come. 
March Madness Corvallis style and the Beavs playing at home in round one. The number four seed, the Beavers hosting the 13th seed, the Boise State Broncos. There's no one else I'd want to go through this journey with and excited that we get to start off at Gill and just happy that um, these are the people that I got to ride with um, through the entire thing and, and fight every day with and battle for. Dale Forsdale. Bounces at the Pivik, he's wide open for an easy layup. She's fouled, and it counts. Right hand corner to Pivik, Pivik with 12 in the shot clock, wide open again. It's Maddie Washington underneath. Um, this is the best fan base I've ever played in front of, and we've traveled a lot of places. Um, just have the extra energy when they really want us to get a stop, you can feel that. And the ball stolen by Pivik. Pivik goes inside, puts it off the glass, and good. Slocum going in, and that score. He saw it. He saw the lane. She said, I'm taking it. The ability for Oregon State to get to overtime and start making free throws, all the difference. 10 of 10. I'm just very thankful uh, to be their coach on a day like this where, um, you know, it took everything you had to coach a team that's willing to give everything. Uh, there's nothing like it. And so this was a, a great win. Uh, it's survive in advance, and today we survived. Monday night basketball at Gill Coliseum. And yeah, the Sweet 16 is on the line. The number four seed, Oregon State hosting the Gonzaga Bulldogs. Here in this first quarter at Gill Coliseum, Kevin, the three-pointer, scores! Jumper and surround and hangs on the rim. No good. The put back by Corsdale hangs on the rim. Almost had an open look. Instead drives through the paint. Left hand corner pivot out to Goodman. A long three ball. And she nails it. Kayla Pivot, the best player in the country that you have never heard of. On the shot clock. Slocum with a wide open three pointer. Hits it. Justin Slocum ties the game. Now moves it to Washington inside. The turn around shot by Maddie's good. When you need something, oh my goodness, this should deliver. Slocum to Corey's Mill. Buckets! It's a definition of confidence. Corsdale lighting it up last couple games. Manny Washington, the money ball, again. Eight points the other night, ten points tonight. Largest lead of the ball game, and this place erupts. And the Beavers have done it. It's Sweet 16 time for Oregon State. How about that? The fourth season in a row, they're heading to the Sweet 16. We talked about it the other day, you never take uh, opportunities or wins or anything like this for granted. Uh, four straight years for our program, making it to this point an opportunity to play in the Sweet 16 and move on um, is, is incredible. And uh, this team just continued to battle and fight. Uh, they are absolute warriors as competitors. They have integrity. I wish I could just explain to each person and how amazing it is to work with them each day. Um, they, so I'm just so happy for our team. They deserve uh, not only an opportunity to win today, but an opportunity to play in front of the crowd like they did today. Um, they've earned that, and I'm just really proud of them. I think we are just most excited to prove to ourselves that once again, we can overcome any type of adversity or any obstacle that's thrown at this team. And I was proud, I know Gil Coliseum was proud. Man, that feeling, I don't think I can ever relive that one. high-end program ever since I came. Uh, my freshman year, went to the Final Four, and then uh, another Sweet 16, Elite Eight, Sweet 16. So, I mean, we're nothing but competitors, and uh, it's nothing but a, cult a great culture and family um, program. I mean, um, they're going to be doing big things for a long time, especially under Scott, and um, I, I know that uh, my teammates that continue to play here are um, just going to do amazing things as just basketball players and people.
Thank you, Katie and Joe, for everything that you've done for Beaver Nation, for this program, um, for developing this culture. Couldn't have had better seniors this entire season. Joe, I'm always going to miss you telling me, Kat, can we go get beets before the game so you can juice them? Hi, Joanna. Um, I'm so excited for you and what you have in the future. And your two years at Oregon State, I hope they will be like a lasting impression on you. I know you've left a lasting impression on us. Um, as far as your growth, even just with who you are and how confident you are in yourself, which also translated onto the basketball court beautifully. Um, you're a unique person, and I feel like once you allowed us to get to know you more, you know, it was great to see you laugh, good to see you smile. Thanks, Joe and Katie, for everything you brought to this program and for showing me how to be a beaver. It's great to have uh, good role models, and thanks for everything you've done for me and for this program. Katie and Joe, these last two years have went by so fast. Um, I was so glad I had the opportunity to play with both of you guys. I love you guys, and I can't wait to see what you guys do in the future. Hey, Katie. Um, I'm going to miss you a lot, just the, just the kind of person you are, such a sweet person, but I'm still waiting for you to get a little mad because i never seen you mad before. And Katie, we've been roommates for three years now, and you don't talk a lot, but your game does the talking. Joe, Joanna Unana, um, we've shared some interesting and amazing memories over these last two years. You're one of the most unique individuals I've ever met. Um, we have gone, you've come with me as a bodyguard down to Albany where I met somebody randomly off Craigslist to try to look at their baseball cards, um, listening to a Star Is Born soundtrack over and over and over and over again. Uh, we've shared some amazing memories and um, rooting for you whenever your next step is and I'm so thankful that I got the opportunity to be your teammate and roommate these past two years. Katie, I think I'm finally going to appreciate Pugs and finally realize I have a purpose in life. Joe, uh, thank you for being a mentor and thanks for opening up to me this year. Hey Katie, um, it's crazy that you're a senior and you've accomplished so much in your four years here at Oregon State. You have such a huge legacy that you're leaving here and you've just added to this culture in so many ways. I've been blessed to be your teammate and see your progress and see the steps you've made especially this year having to go into more of a leadership position and um, you know just all of that that was on your shoulders I think you did a great job managing all that. Thank you so much Joe and Katie for how much you guys have contributed to this program. Love you guys so much. Good luck to you guys in your futures.